welcome back to Hale's World and oh my goodness, these Apple AirTags have some super sick features and in case you didn't know, these AirTags are basically little trackers where you can attach them to various items and track them. Because of the design that Apple went with, you do need to have an accessory like this bag tag one from Apple but once your tag is in there, you can then of course attach it to your laptop bag, luggage, you name it and then track that item using your iPhone. You simply open up the Find My application and right over there you'll see exactly where it is. But that is definitely not all there is to these AirTags. Now here are some features that make AirTags so amazing. If you click this play sound button, your AirTag will actually start pinging a sound and believe it or not, for such a small piece of tech, it actually makes a really loud sound. So it does make finding your goods so much easier when you click that play sound button and allow your AirTag to ping. But here is an even cooler feature and that is precision finding. So if you click on that find button, this little window appears that gives you exact directions on how to find your AirTags. And as you can see, it is incredibly accurate. It gives you directions from telling you to turn right, go forward, or even that it's behind you. And then when it detects that you're super close to your AirTag, your iPhone will actually start vibrating. Again, the precision finding is incredibly accurate and definitely what sets Apple apart. So here's the thing, what if somehow you lose your AirTag and another person picks it up? Well, the first thing you should do is definitely head into the Find My application and select the tag that is lost. Then go ahead, swipe up, and right over here, you will see Lost Mode and Enable. If you tap on that, this pop-up notification appears telling you what will happen. Then you can just click Continue. And now you need to put in a contact number where if someone finds your AirTag, this is the number they'll phone to get a hold of you. Then once all of that is done, simply click Activate, and now your AirTag has Lost Mode enabled. So if someone and then comes across your keys, for example, and notices you have an AirTag, they can take this AirTag, then tap it to the back of their phone, just like this, and a pop-up notification will appear. If they click on that, it'll then take them to a page on Apple's website and notifies them that this AirTag has been lost and to please dial this number. The best part is this works on all smartphones with NFC capabilities. So whether that's an Android or iPhone device, anyone can tap the AirTag, get that notification and call you. Okay, now another super quick way of finding your goods is just by saying, Hey Siri, find my keys. Looking for car keys. It's nearby. Pinging car keys now. And just like that, your air tags start pinging a sound, and so they are so much easier to find. By the way, if you're busy enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because we're on the road to 1 million. And if you sub, that would be amazing. Now, I did tell you guys there was so much more you could do with these AirTags than just finding your goods. For example, if you head on over to the Shortcuts application, then click on Automations and create a new automation, what you can do is scroll down and select this option that says NFC. What you then do is click on the Scan button and bring your AirTag close to your phone. Because these AirTags are basically NFC tags too. So once your phone has scanned your tag, go ahead, give it a name, and now here's where you choose exactly what action or automation you want to have happen when you scan your AirTag. As you can imagine, there are so many different things you can choose to do. For example, if I bring my AirTag close to my phone, I can start a voice note, open up YouTube, or even take a screenshot. The options are endless. Now you guys know I love a good accessory and if you're not gonna throw these AirTags just as they are in your bag or car, then you're definitely gonna need a holder of some sort and as you can imagine, the Apple branded ones are quite expensive. But luckily there are a ton of other options out there like this ESR one that is a simple silicone circle but literally a third of the price. So I picked up a bunch of different options to show you guys because depending on your needs and what you wanna use these AirTags for, you can get different accessories. This this is probably one of my favorite. It's clear and completely enclosed, so your AirTag will never get scratched. Then most of them come with a nice keychain, but this one has an enclosed silicone back. If you want to attach one to a children's backpack, you can get these cool glittered ones. And finally, this accessory is great for attaching your AirTags to almost anything. It comes with a sticky back where you just peel off this clear film and you can attach it to your drone, for example. Then once it's stuck and secure, go ahead, pop your AirTag in the slot and you'll basically have an 
extra layer of security, so if you ever crash your drone, hopefully it's easier to find and the air tag doesn't affect the drone at all. Now, do you know what I really love about these air tags is obviously, depending on how much you use them, the battery lasts on these puppies for up to one whole year before you have to change the battery again. Which obviously is super useful and when you first get your air tag, you simply pull that piece of plastic down, the battery connects and your air tag is activated. But then to change it, you simply push down, twist and like that, the silver cap comes off and the battery is revealed. You'll know when the battery on your air tag is getting low because you'll actually get a notification on your iPhone. You then of course just get a brand new battery, pop it in, then push and twist and you're good to go. But another cool way you can see the battery percentage on your AirTag is just by looking at this battery icon right below the name of your AirTag. And if you tap on it, it'll also show you the serial number as well as firmware update. Then did you know air tags are also water resistant? So you can drop it in water up to one meter and leave it there for 30 minutes and it'll still work. If you grab your phone, click on that find button, you'll still be able to do the precision tracking just like this, which is just as accurate. And if that wasn't enough, you can also still click on play sound and your air tag will ping a sound. Then you can also rename your air tag just by swiping up on this menu and clicking on rename item. In here, you can scroll all the way down until it says custom name which allows you to choose a custom emoji for your air tag as well as custom name so this is obviously super nice for if you decide to use your air tag to track something else then you can just rename it if you ever decide you want to sell your air tag or give it to a friend or family member you can remove it from your apple id and it'll show you this little pop-up notification and then you can just remove it pretty nifty then if for some other reason you're having issues with your AirTag or can't connect and you want to reset it, simply take the battery out five times and on the fifth time of placing it in, it should reset. Then you can go ahead, pop the silver cap back on and your phone will automatically want to connect to it. Definitely a cool little trick to remember. So now, where are some good ideas to actually use these air tags? As you guys know, baggage gets lost all the time, so throwing it in your luggage is a great idea. You can also attach it to your pet's collar so you never have to worry about them, and even on a child's belt loop. Your car keys, house keys, office keys, you name it, of course, are also super useful to have it on. Another great idea is also attaching it to your bike or electric scooter, whatever you may have. And I also personally popped one in my tech bag, you saw the drone, and even my car. So let me know down in the comment section what you would use these air tags to track and I'll pin a comment. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!